This is what I'm saying, and, and you can draw a contrast. It is clear as crystal. Chris Cuomo is trying to say, oh, well, it, it must be a racial thing is the reason that they want Roe overturned. Uh, no, I want to save the black babies that are getting aborted just as much as the white babies and the Hispanic babies and everybody else. They're all important to me. I want zero babies to be lost to abortion. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Now you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, we are indeed, like I said before the break, going to be talking about CNN's Chris Cuomo. So there's actually a couple stories, and we'll get to the second one in a second. But the first one, Chris has asserted that overturning Roe is racist. But again, it's not about science or consensus. It's about dividing lines, legislating to the far right, white fright vote. Flooding the zone with 536 bills that abridge a woman's right to control her own body in 46 states. It's just like voting rights in one way. You see, it seems like the far right only cares about protecting humans before they are born. Did anybody catch that in the last line that he just said? He says it seems like the right only cares about protecting humans before they're born. So you're admitting that it's a human. That's what you said. Chris Cuomo on air just contradicted himself. He said, it's a human. Well, if it's a human, shouldn't you want to preserve it too? If it's a human life, and again, he used the word life, he said human lives, then why are you against protecting it? I, I thought that we were all supposed to be supportive of protecting human life. Now, I don't agree with this premise, but I'm not going to go into it because I just did last week a segment where AOC made exactly the same claim. So if you're interested in looking at the, oh, conservatives only care about lives in the womb. If you're, cons if you're interested in watching that, I do recommend watching my video on AOC because she delved into that a little bit. So I went in detail. But on the other thing, the, the core of what he's trying to get at here is that black women are, <laughs> he's saying that it has something to do with race, despite the fact that black women they get abortions at five times the rate of white women. So he's trying to make this into, oh, they're just trying to divide us against racial lines. Oh, really? The, the party that supports Black Lives Matter, they're the ones, we're the ones doing the division across racial lines? That, that's the play you want to run with. All right. But then the second part of that is equally stupid. He's saying that abortion is a racial issue which I actually agree with, but not the way that he's talking about. If black women are getting abortions at five times the rate of white women, then would not that mean that the white people that are supporting getting rid of abortion would be the exact opposite of racist? Because we're wanting there to be a world with more black children in it. A good example of this, you can check this out, this is from congress.gov in a report that was issued to Congress. Disproportionately, the leading consumer of abortion services is the African-American female. According to the 2011 abortion surveillance report issued by the Center for Disease Control, black women make up 14% of the childbearing population, yet obtain 36.2% of the reported abortions. Black women have the highest abortion ratio in the country, with 474 abortions per 1,000 live births. That means that if you are a black baby in the womb, you've got about a little less than a 30% chance of being aborted versus being born. He continues on. Percentages at these levels illustrate that more than 19 million black babies have been aborted since 1973. So think about this for a second, guys. Chris Cuomo is saying that the reason that people want Roe overturned is because they're racist and they hate black people. You're appealing to the white fright vote. Except the people that are for getting rid of abortion would actually wind up creating a world with more black people in it. How does that make any sense? I'm just as ardent about protecting those black babies 
as I am the white babies that we have lost to abortion. And to illustrate this, check this out. This is from the census, and I did a little bit of the number crunching myself. The CDC is the one that put out the information on abortion. So you'll see there the current U.S. population is 76% white, 13.4% black, and 10.2% other. Yet, if you're looking at abortions, 32%, that's the stat that we just looked at from the CDC, of those abortions are black people. Only 43% of them are white people, so not even half. Think about that. Not even half of the women that are getting abortions are white. And so if we instituted this, this is what the American population would look like. I crunched the numbers and added the numbers to all of the figures since 1973. And if abortion were done away with, if, if we never had abortion and Roe didn't exist and, and all of the babies that have been sacrificed to the God of convenience had been saved, we would currently be looking at a population that is only 71% white, 16% black, and 12% other. So somehow, all of the evil racists that want abortion to go away, if our worldview was put into place, we would have an America where there are less white people and more other people. How does that make any sense? And by the way, this is also true when you're looking at the approval by black people. If you're looking at the statistics for black Americans and their approval of abortion, there is a large percentage of them that do not agree with abortion. 2017 to 2020, you will see that there has been a substantial increase in the amount of black people that do believe that abortion is a moral choice. In other words, that, you, uh, that, that abortion is something that you can do that is morally correct. But that's only a little over 40% of the black population, which means there is still a majority of black people, despite being overwhelmingly Democrats, despite in all of major national elections voting 90% with the Democrats, still over half of black people don't agree with abortion, don't think it's right. This is the dirty little secret that people on the left don't want you to talk about. Even though black people, by and large, vote for Democrats, they vehemently disagree with their stance on abortion. It's one of the big sticking points between blacks and the Democrat Party. And so somehow, I guess all of the black people that disagree with abortion, they must be racist against black people too somehow, because that's appealing to the white fright vote gang. This is utterly stupid, and Chris Cuomo, in his usual fashion, gets all of his facts wrong. And another thing that I want to point out that's interesting is how is it that if getting rid of abortion and wanting abortion to be ended is racist, why is it that it seems that all the actual racists like abortion? That just seems bizarre. For example, you know who was uber pro-abortion? The founder of Planned Parenthood. You know who else really didn't like black people? The founder of Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger, I mean, I've gone through this laundry list of things that she's done over and over again. i put up dozens of quotes about how she thinks that black people are terrible and shouldn't be allowed to reproduce and all this other stuff. She actually put out a campaign that she was going to pay black ministers to go into black communities and try to emphasize sterilization and abortions. She talks about them as human weeds. I could go on and on and on about this. But the point is, Margaret Sanger really didn't like black people. She also worked with the Klan and the neo-Nazis. Well, actually, back then they were just the Nazis. But the Nazis here in America. You see, she was a fan of eugenics. And the Democrat Party, which is closely associated with the Klan, they were big fans of her because of that. She wanted less black people to be born so that the country could be more white. She was trying to create a thoroughbred when it comes to, you know, engineering human genetics. She believed that black people were inferior, and because of that, needed to be weeded out of the population. And by the way, it would be one thing if, because I know that they try to make the case, oh, well, that, that was way in the past, and that's back then when, you know, the Democrats were all about Jim Crow. Now it's, now it's completely different. No, the racists are still pretty dang pro-abortion. 
let's look at this quote, which is from uh, Richard Spencer, who is one of the leaders of the alt-right. So this is a, a quote by him where he's talking about abortion and why he supports it. Now remember, alt-right, uber racist. They're white nationalists. And he says, and so the anti-abortion crusade becomes this human rights crusade. And if you were to look at the writing of people like Ramesh Panuro of National Review, it is directly associated with this, that every being is a human and has a right to live, right to life, and so on. Well, that's not how we think as identitarians, to be honest. You are a part of a community. You're a part of a family. You're a part of a collective. You do not have some human right, some abstract thing to give to you by God or by the world or something like that. You're a part of a community, and that's where you gain your meaning or your rights. The anti-abortion crusade is often associated with family, the traditional family, but to be honest, it's descended into not just a just a human rights dogma, but a kind of dysgenic, we are the world dogma. That's pretty clear. Richard Spencer, probably the most famous racist in the country, very pro-abortion. And the reason that he is pro-abortion is because he says, look, your value doesn't come from God. It doesn't come from individual rights. It, it's not something that is ingrained to you. Your rights come from your community. Well, that sounds just like Black Lives Matter. That sounds just like all of the talking points of the left. Because they engage in tribalism and, and tribalistic identitarian politics, just like the alt-right does. And by the way, he's not the only one in the alt-right that believes this. This is a quote from Alma uh, Fisher. And again, this is another alt-right personality on abortion. Quote, it is important that we not fall prey to the pro-life temptation. The only ones who can't avoid an unwanted pregnancy are the least intelligent and responsible members of society. Women who are disproportionately black, Hispanic, and poor. Now, this one's even more telling because Fisher here is arguing that, no, we don't need to fall prey to the temptation to be pro-life. Why? Because most of the people getting abortions are a bunch of unintelligent black and Hispanic people, and we want them to get abortions. This is what I'm saying, and, and you can draw a contrast. It is clear as crystal. Chris Cuomo is trying to say, oh, well, it, it must be a racial thing is the reason that they want Roe overturned. Uh, no, I want to save the black babies that are getting aborted just as much as the white babies and the Hispanic babies and everybody else. They're all important to me. I want zero babies to be lost to abortion. The world that Chris Cuomo, and weirdly enough, they're on the same page in this one, the alt-right is advocating for is a world that is more white. That's the irony in all of this. In Caleb Cockwit's perfect world where there is no abortion, black people are a significantly larger part of the American population than they are now. Look, if you have to point to a side that's racist, it's just probably not the group of people that want 19 million more black people in the world. That's probably not the group that's racist if you're having to pick sides here. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, it must mean you like what you saw and should like and subscribe. That or you were just super bored, wound up here by accident, and were too lazy to turn the video off before now. Now, I hope you're the first type of person, but if you happen to be the second type, doesn't really matter to me. I got a view out of you either way. Huh. Profiting off of the laziness of others. This must be what it feels like to be a Democrat.